Yo, what up? My name is Freddie Swift Style Garcia, and welcome back to the channel. All right, so today we are back with another Reloop spin video. Traditionally, we would do the first look and unboxing video, which is what we put out last week, then go into a first cut video, and then a review video, and then some mod videos. But after editing and releasing last week's video, I had a couple guys over here at HQ, and obviously they wanted to try out the Reloop spin but we quickly learned that the crossfader on this guy, if you're using this for a cut tool, absolutely has to be replaced. And the reason I say that is because of the cut in time. We found out that the cut in time on this fader is almost a quarter inch before the sound starts. It doesn't matter if you're experienced or a beginner, I wouldn't recommend anybody having that big of a cut in time. And the only way that we figured that this would be acceptable is if you used some kind of spacers or something to close that gap. And because of that, we're making today's video a mod video before the first cut video, because like I said, this fader has to go. So Jesse Dean has been kind enough to send over his new fader. This is the JDDX2R. SP, a replacement fader for the Reloop spin. But before we put that in, let me show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. And to be honest with you, I wish this wasn't the case because I was really looking forward to this unit being ready to go out of the box. But here's the, uh, the cut in, like I was saying. Break it down. Break it Break. Like I said, it's almost a quarter inch cut in. And you can see when I just do some basic stuff like transforming that I'll be missing. Now, obviously I can push this a little further to make those sounds come through, but no matter what you're doing, if you start getting into combos and stuff like that, you're going to be missing clicks. Now this install should be pretty simple. I'm just using a basic Phillips screwdriver. Let me go ahead and turn this guy off and unplug it just to be safe so there's no power coming into it. I'm gonna take the fader cap off, put it to the side. Now we're gonna unscrew the two outer Phillips screws. Another quick note, you do not need a portable drill to get these things out or to do any mods on these portable turntables. These are plastic, the screws come out extremely easy. If you're not experienced with the drill, you might damage your unit. All right, so let's pull this up. Okay, so right away I see two connections. There's a red one here and the white one, which is obviously what we're gonna unplug. Okay, let's take a look at what comes inside Jesse's box. All right, so here is the crossfader and it just looks like we've got a Jesse Dean sticker as well. All right, so here's a closer look at Jesse Dean's fader. If you can see inside there, there is some cut in adjustments, just like on the last fader we reviewed for him. All right, so there are two connections inside of here. The white one is the one that we disconnected, and the red one is the one that you'll be connecting to Jesse's fader. So let's grab that fader, and it should go right back into the original slot. We'll plug that in and screw this back down. Be careful not to over tighten this thing. All right, so I do like the look and feel of the Reloop Spin fader cap. So I'm gonna replace the provided cooler cap with that one. Now this is just personal preference, but I personally don't really care for the feel of the cooler cap. All right, so let's get this plugged back in. Now there is one thing that I forgot to mention in the last video. This unit can actually be powered by rechargeable 18650 batteries. And two of those would just go right here. Now you could find those online pretty cheap, with an included charger. So I'll have to pick some of those up for the next video. All right, so let's get this turned back on and test it out. Break it down. Break it down. All right, so right away we can see that it's set in hamster mode, uh, but I need this to cut normal. I need it to cut in on the other side. So I'm gonna take the fader cap off, unscrew this, flip it, and put it back in. Now we brought this up in the last video. I wish this thing had hamster, but it doesn't. So if you wanna cut on the opposite side, you have to unscrew this and flip it. 
Now Jesse sent me an instruction video on how to make this cut on both sides, but personally, I do not prefer that. And I'd rather have it just cut in on one side. So we're gonna leave it like this, and we're just gonna flip this fader. Break it down. Break it down. All right, so obviously you could see the cut-in is much better with Jesse's fader installed. And like I mentioned earlier, there are two slots inside of here uh, that'll fit a precision size screwdriver and you can adjust the cut-in. But as it comes, break it down. It's pretty sharp. Down. All right, so there you have it, an easy install on Jesse Dean's new fader for the Reloop Spin, the JDD X2 RSP. Like I mentioned earlier, this fader can cut on both sides, but you'll have to do some modifications. I'm sure you can find this diagram that Jesse has made on his website. But because of the way that I cut, I prefer it to only come in on one side. Sometimes my throw is a little bit long and it bounces to the other side. And when the fader cuts on both sides, it doesn't work well for me. Now, if you mod this fader to cut on both sides, you could potentially fix the hamster problem on this unit. But I would have been much happier if this unit came pre-installed with the hamster button or even a switch down here. All right, so that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, another video covering the Reloop Spin. If you have any questions or recommendations for future videos on this Reloop Spin, leave them down in the comment section. Make sure to share this video with all your Portablist or DJ homies. Be on the lookout for the first cut video, which will be coming soon. That's it for today. Keep scratching. Peace.